and here we are. Well, I went to Crystal Sage, not Road of Sacrifices, but whatever. Also, before I forget, I hope I can do that here. Are you serious? I can't do it here? Fine, back to Firelink then, okay. I'm sorry, I forgot. Picky picky game? One bonfire or another, what's the damn difference? Why don't I have the option to do this over there? Estus Flask plus two. Do you have another? I don't. Thanks, game. I was I during the loading screen I was like, oh yeah, I didn't do that. But no, I have to have another loading screen, and now I have to have uh, Prince Lotheric's skirt in front of me. <laughs> Thanks, game. Alright. What's my, uh... Equip load now, anyway? 61. You know, it's not bad at all. Do I have anything heavier? I know... This is kind of breaking my philosophy. I was gonna go, like... Uh, yeah, that, that's heavier, but it's also disgusting. Um, I was gonna go, like, a great sword wielding light-armored, um... Hmm, okay. Light-armored warrior kind of thing, but I've just ended up going a very generic kind of tanky hack-and-slash build. For grand trousers, not as good. Black Knight leggings, not as good. They weigh so much more. They weigh so much more, but they barely give any anything higher. Except poise. I remember in Dark Souls 1, poise wasn't that important, I think. No, wait, no. In Demon Souls, poise did, like, nothing. In Dark Souls 1, poise was, like, really insane. And then in Dark Souls 2, it went back to doing, like, nothing. If I remember right. I would like to put this stuff on, and I might as well, but, you know, like, I can't help but feel like I'm just betraying myself here. Four swings to kill that guy, wow. You're uh, fast on the upswing. Okay, now that I have Estus plus two, it should be a much simpler task to uh, heal myself up. These five Estus should take me a long way now. Alright, so that was a sign that said turn back. I did not listen to it. And, uh... Are you serious? What was that noise? It's like I broke his guard or something. I might have also killed him in the same hit, not even realizing. Alright, so... Yeah, that was kind of scary. So you run out here, right? Damn it. So I shouldn't be using my Estus anywhere near as often, because it's stronger now. Oh, don't target that one. Yeah, it's a lot stronger now. Nope, the other one's pissed at me now, too. I gotta kill that one. And not get knocked into fire. Like an idiot. No, 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 come on. No, 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 no. Okay, which one? That one. No, no, no. This is a terrible way to die. I just need to hit you once. Okay, come on. Jeez. Two of you at once is a bad idea. 
That was my fault for coming this way. Okay, there's your grab. Now you're open. Now you're dead. Soul of an unknown traveler. Totally worth. Hmm, okay. That looks like an area from Zelda. More of those, like, jerkwads with pikes. I've been through here, right? I don't think I've been through here. I do not remember going through those big gates. And also, hello bonfire. I guess I walked right past you. Never even knew you were here. Maybe I should upgrade my Estus again. It means fighting those guys again, but in a better way. Not messing up is horrible. Come on, you. Yeah, I'm not getting the whole subsequent attacks healing me thing. Maybe this ring just sucks. Like, that didn't heal me at all. I've seen it only happen like twice. Okay, so let's find out what's back here. A rock that looks like it should move. A tree. And an obvious trap, right? Oh no, this is just right where I was. Is that all that was down here? Come on, you're not that scary. I can fight one of you. Like, legitimately one of you. Such a nice attack. That, that jump attack. It's a good attack. Alright. This area is literally just that and nothing- Oh. <laughs> Estus Shard, okay. Well, um, I know what I'm gonna do. Also, I'm really happy that I, I looked just to be sure, because I found it hard to believe there was nothing in this entire area. And with that, oh, I gotta explore in here too. Before you jerkwads, like, come after me. Wait, I've been through here. Yeah, I killed all of you before. There's one of you in here that, like, screeches and brings everyone back, right? Or, like, wakes everyone up. I know I fought all of you here, but I was upstairs. You're a lot easier when you're not all waking up at once. That's for sure. Yeah. I remember because I broke that box up there, rolling into it. I just never came down. Heretic staff, no big deal. Alright, well, this was a nice little adventure. It was worth getting that Esther shard. That is 100%. That is a big up. That is a very big up for me. And just because of that, before we go to the Faron Woods, definitely going to go up my Estus. And maybe level up once more. I think I can, right? No, I, I don't. I think I'm at like 5,000 per level now. Nice. So not only have I made it stronger, but I got another use out of it. Good. Alright, let's see if I can level up even once. <laughs> Very heat.
Oh, wow, 6,000 per level. It's big. Alright, so we have Cathedral of the Deep and Theron Keep. Let's go here. Oh yeah, it's all poison. Great. How do I put these out? Well, that's not how. I'm guessing these aren't the fires to put out. They're just fires. What? Oh, that's nasty. Alright. Hello. If I remember right, those slugs in the other Dark Souls games, they, uh... Also, standing next to the fire should, like, heal you. Or, not heal you, but should get rid of poison faster, or something. Or at least get it, like, off your clothes. Um... What was I saying? Yeah, these slugs. They used to be a very good source of Titanite. Like, a decent drop chance. In Dark Souls something. One. Blight Town slugs, right? Used to be a very, very good source of Titanite. Well, if I sprint for that item, I am likely to be poisoned. Poison isn't that big of a deal. It's really not. Anything up here? Slugs? Underneath? Okay. Alright, so let's roll from here. Grab this. Oh, nice. That's the shard. <laughs> Great. I should go back and also put that in there. Titanite shard. Okay. Jumping doesn't seem to help. Oh well. Prism stones. Those are good. And, uh... Hmm. Alright, can I stand at the base of these trees and not get poisoned? Kinda. But it doesn't... It's not really... Ethicable. And... Oh yeah. Here comes the poison. Here comes this jerk. You look like one of those... You are one of those dark night people things that would steal humanity, but in this case, steal embers. With your hand of death. Dark gauntlets. The dark set I remember being decent. Let's see if it is. Weighs less, gives a lot less. Well, not a lot less. Well, it does give a lot less bonuses for uh, resistance. A lot less bonuses for resistance. But, it's normal defense absorption isn't that bad. Oh well, let's stick with what we got for now. Sage's Coal. Clearly another item for the blacksmith that I need to remember to give him when I go back and uh, reinforce my Estus again. Speaking of which... Oop! See, poison's not that big of a deal. It's really not. Also, when you're already poisoned, you can't get re-poisoned. So... Walking through here is not a problem anymore. I see... Big scary thing. A very big scary thing. Oh... You're cruising for a backstab.
So the fact that these guys rendered in some from so far away tells me they're extremely dangerous. And tells me that I should be very careful when dealing with them. They likely have a very strong attack that... Whoa, whoa. You guys. I do not like you guys. There's three of you. Dear God. Okay. 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 Don't mind me. Oh. Why is it so scary? No, that's not it. No. Oh. Chug, 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 chug. Chug. Do the dark side fill approach. Chug. Okay. Oh, wow. That was just bad. That attack was stupid. Roll. Okay. Roll after your hit. No, 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 no. Okay, I have one more Estus. Gotta manage my stamina better than that. I'm gonna... Okay, I wasn't hit. Good. Now, these guys don't have much health. So if only I was not so stupid and a lot more aggressive. I would be able... Oh, come on. After death... Oh, Ferris's hat. <sighs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I, I got rocked way too hard there. If something terrible happens to me, I deserve it. Nice, uh, goat face. Loser. Purple moss clump. Nothing back here? Nothing? That doesn't quite seem right. That doesn't quite seem right at all. You would really think there'd be something back there. I'm, I'm assuming because he dropped Ferris's hat that that guy's, those guys are guarding the Black Bow Ferris. At the same time, I want to get this item. Titan Shard. And I see something over there. It's another one of those things. It's on all fours. And it's, uh... It's just chilling there. I want to get up there. Because there's an item up there. I hope those giant, crazy, spell-casting, weird things don't come back. No, 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 no. Deep poison. I treaded in the deep purple, and for that, I was punished. Yeah. You guys. Screw you guys. I'm going home. So I must learn to avoid the deep purple. I had no. Uh, that's just disgusting. No. And I have another one, right? Oh, okay. I don't. Right, give Theron coal. My, this coal is from the undead legion. Don't you have like a you billion of these? The weapons of Farron's I gave you watchers. coals in every game so far. Fine, jerk. Guys. I'm honored to be endued with it. Now I'll be equipped to infuse special gems. Praise I got a great me. sword. I hope it doesn't require some stupid freaking like high dexterity to use. What's the undead legion doing with a coal such as this? I'd heard one of the crystal sages had sided with Farron's abyss watchers. And I killed her. Or it must be true. 
You should know. This coal is imbued with magic. First You're a liar. See. I gave you one in Dark Souls 1. Hardly a surprise, is it? I've never been one for books or wise men. <laughs> also, my axe is in your heart. Okay. Anyway. Anything uh, new? Another matter. Infusing weapons with gems with my humble coals won't be any... I know, but you're not... <laughs> oh, please believe it or not. <laughs> okay. So let's see what I can do. Oh, infuse. There's only one kind of infusion that I actually care about. Great sword requires 28 strength to use and 10 dexterity. I think I have 9 dexterity, so I might put 1 point in to use that. It is my ultra great sword that I've always wanted. But wow. Is it heavy? Dear god, that is heavy. And two. Um Yeah, wow. The the great club is 12, 12 weight, and that is 20 weight. Holy crap. 28 strength. I need three more points of strength just to touch it. The Great Scythe used to be an amazing weapon, but they crapped on it. They crapped on it so hard in Dark Souls 2. They just made it terrible. Alright, so. Alright. Well, there's my Great Sword. That's what I wanted to use in this playthrough. So, we all know where my next stats are going. Strength. Anyway. It has descaling. Which sucks. Um, my axe is C-scaling. But wow, 20, look at this. 12 and 8 to use. 28 and 10 to use. More than double the strength requirement to swing this thing around. But I will certainly be giving it a shot. Also, this is a great hammer. Didn't I say that I was going to check this thing out and I just never did? It's a very low weight for the strength requirement. Interesting. High stability for a freaking weapon block. That's stupid. Yeah, blocking with weapons is dumb. Why would you ever do that? Alright, anyway. What was I saying? Something about greatsword. Oh well. So if I wanted to infuse this... With heavy? Heavy gem. Sharp gem. Refined. B scaling. B scaling sounds very nice. Sounds very, very nice, actually. Poison gem, deep gem. What the hell is that? Oh, gives it dark damage. Blessed gem gives it... Oh, sea scaling and faith. That's actually pretty cool. Um... And fire. Which is just fire. Alright. I'm gonna read the description of these gems. And, uh... Like... Anything new here? Not really. Sage Ring, shortened spell casting time, yeah. Boost Pyromancies. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Um. What was I. Oh, yeah, an inventory, duh. I passed it already, didn't I? Yes. Alright, um. Stones? Stones, gems, here they are. Alright. Infuse Titanite, Shark Stone, reverses weapon infusion. Okay. Benefits of undoing the effects of infusion without reducing the reinforcement level. Nice. Rare cases inside demons create fire weapons. 
Crystal weapons inflict magic damage and scale effectively with intelligence. So that's different than the old crystal weapons. Raw gem. Forged the weapons of Lothric foot soldiers. Used to infuse and create raw weapons. Ah, so this is bad. This is what you don't want. You don't want things to lose scaling. And refined. Forged the weapons of Lothric Knights, used in infusion to create refined weapons. Refined weapons are difficult to wield properly and scale effectively with strength and dexterity. So that's a good one. It's good. This makes it scale better with dexterity. Okay. Famously used for to forge large fair and great swords. Well, used in the infusion to create heavy weapons. They scale effectively with strength. I clearly know what I'm going to like the most with my build. Alright, so let's see what's over here. I can level up once. Welcome, us be very well then take. Yeah, I have... Haha. <laughs> <sighs> Fine, we're leveling dexterity once. Farewell, I've made a play. Just because. Wait, I hope that wasn't a waste. I know you can... I know you can respec in this game. You could respec in Dark Souls too, which is good. Respecing is very important. Character investment is a thing. Ah, Learn it, game designers. Me. And then they got rid of it in Bloodborne, which is stupid. Because one of the best weapons you get is at the end of the game. I hate that. That is like terrible design. Okay, let's infuse. Oh, pretend we're gonna infuse. With, uh. Where's heavy? This takes it from D to C. But doesn't change anything else. So. Yeah. That's it. Also, why is 63 better than 62? I mean, no, why is 62 considered better than 63? But 159 versus 155. Something doesn't make much sense here. Hmm. Oh well. That's for a later time. A much later time. <laughs> Alright, back we go to the scary poison people. Actually, should I go there or to the cathedral? But there feels like there's such good stuff down here. I feel like I'm missing a lot if I don't go here. Anyway, I guess we'll find out in the next episode. Thanks for sticking with me.